Okay, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Surabaya Zoo, we would like to say thank you very much and for this opportunity. And let me introduce myself. The correct name I am uh, Justinus Atisupakat. I am from Surabaya Zoo and my position as public relation. For this time, I would like to share or reason about the breeding program of Komodo dragon or Paranus komodensis at the Surabaya Zoo. First, I would like to introduce about Komodo. Komodo dragon is one of Indonesia's species which left and spread original in Padar, Linda, Komodo Island and several small islands and surrounds. And now have already protected by law and signed by our the President of Republic Indonesia as National Wildlife in 1990. From the year in 1994, in our zoo has already able to feed Komodo dragon by natural method. But since 2008, it has been developed in an incubation system at this well. And the result breeding has been distributed to some of conservation organizations like in Taman Safari Indonesia, Dua Bridget in Indonesia. Also, we have sent also to Pretoria Zoo in South Africa. And at present, also has collection Komodos, about 63 Komodos with 14 male and then 18 female and 31 is unknown because still young. And in our experience, until Komodo dragon will feed or mate in May and June, and the other female Komodo dragon will lay the egg on jewel and harvest. And our problem is uh, we take like this. And the problem is to decrease the risk being eaten by the other Komodo, the eggs. And also avoid Komodo being free after uh, heads. So the X has taken to we have into piece and rope and the X will have place in the incubation board like this. The first picture. Uh, made from stereoform with size 60 centimeters long and then 37 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters high. This for use for uh, 10x Komodo dragons. The incubation box was filled with vermiculite and system equipped with light to have the room temperature. The ambient temperature is uh, 30 until 31 Celsius degree by managing cup opener from glass and the humidity was uh, 70 until 80 percent. The contents maintenance of humidity was obtained by spraying the water. If the humidity increase 
we will spraying uh, the water will be that. Usually after eight months, the eggs will hatch and between 198 until, uh, I'm sorry, between from 2008 until 2010, we have uh, success about 85 eggs look like in our uh, graphics. In 2008, we have uh, 54 number of eggs and heads 45 eggs and hatching percentage is 83%. On 2009, we have 40 eggs and heads 26 eggs and the hatching percentage is 65 percent. And then in 2010, we have 16 eggs and hatch 14 and hatching percentage is 87 percent. And now in 2011, we have 11 eggs and still breeding in process. The next we will talk about uh, Aspendi after headship. The baby Komodo Rikon will place in pop can, look like in the first band picture, which uh, made from wood with size 60 centimeters wide and 150 centimeters long and 50 centimeters height, look like first picture. And then after that, after four months, the young Komodo placed at the open end closer, the second picture, like this. Size is wider, with two meters wide and uh, two meters long, and the height is two meters. In order to get uh, sunshine and in the morning, also lacquer morphing space. And then, after one year old, uh, the young Komodo will be placed in open and closed in exhibit area. This uh, last year, we have small party for uh, this. Okay. And then the next uh, diet, from zero until one month, usually we give them uh, egg yolks and the intensity give is once in two days. And then for one month until two months, we have give them egg yolk and mixed with hop meat and the intensity get is once in two days. For young Komodo two months until one year, we give them egg yolk and poop meat. The intensity is once in three days. For one year until five years eggs, we have comb meat and combined by white mass, we give them uh, once in a week by tons. And for about five years old, uh, we give them a meat and the intensity is once in two weeks. 
We have five minutes. Yes, okay. Now, uh, the animal report, we have uh, already uh, uh, mixed like microtap. This uh, fair is uh, special. Ladies and gentlemen, and finally, the success of breeding of using artificial uh, incubation at also is operate 77 percent and uh, the problem is all area of issue is very limited so that is necessary for us to think of the solution and what is the action next step that's all our presentation and thank you very much thank you very much so good to see your success. So good to feel that we are not going to lose these animals in the near future. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, questions, please. Please, please turn. Use the mic, please. Yes, um, Justinus, we would like to help you to solve the problems of overpopulation in your zoo. Okay, thank you. I have a question for you. Why do you think the number of pigs reducing year by year? Is that a cause of concern for you? Yes, uh, the problem is the population increase is to be problem because our area in Sioux is very limited and then will be to be of our population. And if we uh, have changed to the other uh, organization conservation. Uh, now in our country needs uh, permit form from our citizen. This is uh, our problems. Thank you. No more question. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I, sorry. Actually, sorry. I have a second part of the question. The the number of eggs that are um, oh okay produced each year seems to be reducing. That seems to be a problem. Okay. Are you concerned with that? Yes, for 2008 until 2010, maybe the number of eggs is decreasing because in uh, female production, is the egg is very limited, and then uh, from year uh, 2008 until 2010 is. Uh, decreasing also in the number of female productive. This is my question. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.